สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Welcome to this April 4th edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. The story of the TV actress who drowned in the Chao Phraya River continues to grip the nation as authorities charge a third person who was there the night Dang Mo fell into the river. The death of TV actress Nida p a c h a r a v i d a Pong, known widely as Dang Mo, continues to make headlines more than a month after she fell overboard from a speedboat. While with five other people on the night of February 24, Dang Mo's body was not discovered until two days later. But her death has been the talk of the nation ever since, as her manager stated that she was relieving herself at the back of the boat when she fell from the boat and into the river in Non Taburi. Not long after her body was discovered two days later, authorities found that she had a gash on her leg, which some believe was a wound from the boat propeller. The boat owner, as well as the driver of the boat, were both charged with recklessness, causing death, as well as giving false statements and destroying evidence. The boat owner and the driver both originally told authorities no one had been drinking, but authorities later found evidence that they were drinking, and all the alcohol and the glasses were all thrown into the river. Over the weekend, video clips were posted online showing 35-year-old w i s a p a d Mano m a i r a d known as Sand, partying on a cruise boat. On the Chao Phraya River, not far from where the fatal accident took place back on February 24th, which was widely panned by ties on social media, accusing her of being insensitive to what transpired as she was on the boat that night that Dang Mo fell over. However, separately, authorities in Non Taburi Province approved a warrant for her arrest on Saturday on charges of recklessness causing death. On Sunday, Sand surrendered to police and briefly spoke with reporters outside of the police station to deny any wrongdoing, and said that her original testimony of Dang Mo losing her balance while urinating into the river off the side of the boat was accurate and correct. Sand is now the third person to be charged in connection with Dang Mo's death. For more, visit the Phuket News dot com. While a revered abbot of a well-known temple was receiving cancer treatment at a hospital in Bangkok, police say his close acquaintance embezzled about 190 million baht of funds intended for temple renovations and to its branches temples. Revered abbot Somdet p r a w a n a r a t was being treated at Chulalongkorn Hospital in Bangkok for gallbladder cancer, but died on March 15th. But during that time, according to police, a man described by police as a p i r a t in his mid 3 0 s had been embezzling money meant to go to branch temples as well as for renovations of the main temple in Bangkok. Police were first alerted to the crime from monks at one of the branch temples in Ayutthaya. They found irregularities in the temple's assets, all linked to a p i r a t who was a close friend of the abbot who died on March 15. A complaint was lodged with the Crime Suppression Division Police on March 22nd after other monks found large amounts of money transferred to personal bank accounts connected to Mr. a p i r a t The police investigation uncovered a wealth of goods, including Bentleys, Porsches, a Volvo, a BMW, and a Lexus car, as well as cash, bank accounts, brand name bags, and gold-plated amulets, all worth about 100 million baht in total. They were impounded for examination by authorities. a p i r a t was arrested at a condo in Bangkok on March 23rd. The investigation into the alleged embezzlement is continuing. The amount of money involved might exceed 190 million baht, according to a police source. However, a p i r a t is currently being held at Bangkok Remand Prison. For more on this, visit the link in the description. The Soy Dog Foundation has joined in support of Ukraine's war-affected dogs and cats. By teaming up with Poland's oldest and largest animal welfare nonprofit, TOZ, helping provide critical assistance to animals impacted by the Russian invasion of the country, the Phuket-based foundation have committed to providing a $250,000 grant to help finance the completion of a purpose-built animal treatment clinic in the Polish town of Celestinow to serve as a coordination point for Ukrainian animals and give them urgent medical care. For more on this, visit the PhuketNews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. 
The Islamic holy month of Ramadan in Thailand will take place from April 3rd to May 14th as the Thai government announces a truce with southern separatist insurgents as officials hope for a lasting solution. Representatives from the Thai government and a delegation from the southern insurgent group, the Barisan Revolusi Nacional, or the BRN, met for two days of peace talks in the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, facilitated by Malaysia's former federal police chief. The agreement was made for a truce until May 14th, which they billed as a, quote, confidence-building measure to pave the way for a concrete peace deal. While the BRN said they would adhere to the truce, the Thai government agreed not only to cease conducting raids or any arrests during Ramadan in the southern border provinces of Yala, Patani, and Naratiwad, but will also allow BRN members residing in Malaysia to visit their families in Thailand without fear of arrest. The latest round of peace talks began in January in Malaysia, but there is no fixed date on the next round of talks. The BRN is one of several ethnic Malay rebel groups fighting for an independent country or a more autonomous Muslim entity along the Malaysia border in Thailand. The BRN themselves are the largest and most powerful of the insurgent group. Violence has increasingly turned deadly since 2004 and has claimed the lives of at least 7,000 people in the southern border provinces. Just last week, two rangers were killed in a roadside bomb and ambush attack in the deep south. For more, visit the link in the description. The merger between TrueCorp and DTAC is looking like it will go through the legal and administrative checks despite staunch opposition from consumer advocates. The merger has drawn intense debate among political factions, consumer protection groups, and academics as to whether it should be given a green light, as they say it would lead to market dominance and reduce competition, with customers paying the price. The merger was announced in November of last year between the parent of DTAC, Norway's Telenor, and the parent company of True, the massive conglomerate Charong Pokpan Group or CP Group, which has incredibly close ties to all political groups, with observers saying this is the real reason the merger is going to sail through regulators, the National Broadcasting and Telecommunications Commission, which is actually in the middle of having five member changes. Reports say the earliest the five NBTC members could finally be given royal endorsement and complete the seven-member board is likely in August, which is when they say the deal could go through. The merged entity would control over half of the total mobile phone market in Thailand, which has 95.3 million subscribers. At the moment, AIS is the current market leader and has about 46% market share. For more, visit the link in the description. Thanks again for joining us on this Monday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.